Hey guys, uh, my name is Greg Della and I'm here at the Dance Fair FL Studio. Uh, I'm going to talk to the, uh, today about Outer Space. It's a track which got released on Clash Recordings and it got supported by Martin Garrix. I'm going to explain the drop today, how I started it and how I did the whole processing of it. How did it start? It started with this melody. And which sound is this? It's an ethnic pluck, which I found in a sample pack and I put some processing on it like this. It's Karma Fix. It's a free plugin. You should definitely get this. Some EQing and some FabFilter Pro EQing, which have I done after this? It's this simple uh, kick pattern. It's a combination of a, a few samples, this one, and without any processing, it sounds like this. What did I put on it is a compressor to make it like in your face because the kick is the main thing in this, in this drop and some EQing. Afterwards, I have the snare going on. So this is the clap. Also, yeah, it's super simple, some EQing. And then I have the snare. And the special thing about this one, I put this an octave higher. And I also put it up two semitones to match it to the key of the track. Some reverb again, some EQing and some stereo enhancer to make it like really wide because you need to like fill the whole spectrum on the sides also. And for the rest, I have this other snare also just a simple EQ on it. So that's the kick pattern. Here are some simple like percussion things. This is a percussion. It's like a sort of cymbal snap thing, which I put white and I put some EQing on it. I also took this one, a snare again, some low cutting on it and a simple snap from Kashmir sample pack with some reverb and some EQing on it. For the rest, I got this loop, which is this one. And it's also, it, it doesn't have a lot of processing on it. It's, I kept it really simple in this track. I have this Kashmir loop thing, some EQing. Uh, this is to filter it in in the intro and some stereo widening. For the rest, percussion wise, there isn't much going on. And then here I got the uh, bounced stuff to, to save some uh, storage because my PC isn't, couldn't handle the full project. It's uh, two silence which I put like uh, underneath each other. And on the one, I put a lot of attack. So it hasn't, hasn't that ticky sound. And on the other one, there's like a short release and a fast attack. And this one is more like faster. So if you put them together, it sounds like this. And on the one, I put a low cut, stereo shaper, some sound goodizer, another stereo shaper, and that's it. And on this one, I put the same, but I did some like different EQing on it. Uh, what else do we have then? We have some saws going on, which are here. And again, it's just doubled layer. And on the one, there's a lot of reverb because the snare is also uh, coming in there and I want it to come become really big. So reverb, sound goodizer, EQ, and that's it. And then we have EQing on the other one. And this one is on the same level, I think. Yeah, it's on almost the same level. Then we got this saw thing, also in silence. I put some reverb on it because like without reverb, it sounded really like crap. 
and I wanted to make it really big. So that's why I put some reverb on, some EQing, some filtering for the intro and some EQing. Then I got this one. It's a Moog bass. I put some distortion on it, some flanger to make it like move a little bit more, some EQing, some stereo shaping, some other EQ. Uh, and then I got this one which is also like the same one, but a little bit lower. Bloody overdrive to make it like really come forth. Another EQ and then this one. Uh, and then here we have the main silent, which is just a simple preset, which I tweaked, uh, which sounds like this. And I put some reverb on it. I put some EQ on it, another EQ, and some low pass for the intro. So you're already here. Um, then we go to the second part of the drop. And I've the only thing I added here was this sound. And these are the only thing two I added. It's just a simple bell and uh, an ethnic synth. So this is the bell. And I EQ'd it like this. I put some reverb on it. And that's it actually. Uh, and then I've got this. A sound godizer, a reverb, EQ, uh, some Edison, but I, uh, which, I cut it out of a loop and that's it for that. So together it sounds like this. Uh, for the rest, I've added some percussion. Which is this one with some stereo enhancing. Also, this loop is just Foley's I cut out of a sample pack. So, really good adding. I also have this sound. It's like a loop I use a lot in my track. Tracks, uh, it's a tom loop. Um, and the cool thing about this Every um, loop or every every sample I copy it and every time I change the pitch to the key of the bass in that instance. I got this hi-hat loop which is in one fourth. Just locate it. It's really, really simple, this one. I've got this one, which is a cymatic sample. Really simple, EQing, reverb, and that's it. And then I got also this one, which is like a vengeance plug. And I also put it in the key of the whole track. So like everything sounds like a whole unity. I put some sound goodizer on it, some sausage, sausage fattener, zero enhancer, reverb, and a paramedic EQ. Then I've got some last funny thing to show, which is this. I took uh, this high sample out of the sample pack. Hi, hi. I put some multiband compressing on it to make it like really stand out. Um, some EQing and a vocodex without the vocal. Uh, oh no, the vocodex is not. Uh, but with the vocodex. Sounds like this. Um, and I doubled it three times, one octave. So one uh, is like normal, one is an octave higher and one is an octave lower. And it's a cool like um, 
add to the track, especially in the drop. If you let it play with everything, I'm gonna show you. So it sounds like this. So it's like a really cool stop to go to the second part of the drop. The only thing I can show you is um, to make the second drop even more special is I added those like Reese sounds and I didn't process them that much. Just some sausage threatening, some EQing and some stereo enhancer. So it's like really wide. And that's the only thing I've added in the second drop. Because in my opinion, like the, the drop itself was really full already. And um, the second drop sounds like this with the, with the Reese bass on it. So it's a really cool add to the whole project, actually. And in the second drop, I also have like this fill. And that's actually like an, an extra add to like the whole track because like in the second drop, it's like a different switch to the to the second part of the drop. So you have like this um, reverb on it, some EQing, some stereo shaping. And for the rest, I put it like band it left, right. And for the rest, I don't really have that much to say about the drop. So I think for now, I will end the masterclass and I hope you learned a lot. Uh, my name is Greg Dalla and I hope you enjoyed this masterclass. <laughs>